The alchemy of wealth from air will bring a second blight upon mankind. This fog of death will cloak the land, and those men who are not prepared will succumb to its foul clutches. For God shows no mercy on those who heed not his words. Thus will the end come, and the world, made unworthy in his eyes, will be purified by black angels, so that he may begin anew. Without the pad, 
and look how that ended. But there is something else you can use. That backpack is a bob. Bug out bad, see? You need it and what's inside. Now might be a good time to try out your radar. Go on, pick up the cricket bat. Don't be squeamish. Think of it as an unspoken agreement between survivors. Because if you got infected, wouldn't you want someone to do the same for you? Good going. A nasty business, but it's got to be done. Now, check that bob. As I recall, there's a pistol and ammo you're definitely gonna need. More than 20 hours awake, and your decision-making goes to pieces. Don't neglect your sleep. Head back to the main room and take another look at the monitors. They're hooked into CCTV cameras all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you. But the more eyes you have, the better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking them. People think CCTV cameras are secure, hardwired to police HQ. But they're wrong. I was a Royal Signals boy in the army. I can teach you a thing or two about secure comms. Time for your first field trip. Those cameras won't fix themselves, and you need to do a little shopping. Has environmental scanner to search the area. Perimeter looks calm, but now. Now, use your pad to scan the area and see what you can loot. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. That's the one. <laughs> this safe house is my handiwork. A long time ago, our team up with a bunch of no-hopers called the Ravens of D. I helped them fortify places like this, because we knew this was coming. John D predicted the plague, and the Great Fire of London that stopped it. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime, even tried to find a cure, the panacea. 
but it's a myth. You can see as well as anyone. There's no cure for this. I'll get that for you. I've locked the place down for your safety. Okay, you're free to come and go now. Scan every CCTV junction box you locate so I can hack it and bring those cameras back online. Ah. Excellent. Your smart map's been updated. Without a good map, you're a goner out there. the supermarket. Be Use your radar. You have to ping areas manually if you want to know what's lurking in your blind spots. Throwing flares. Now they could come in handy. Bright lights to distract the dimwits. before every blighter from miles around comes running. While you're there, stock up. If it's not nailed down, loot it.
When you find the box, link the pad up to bring the cameras back online. Ah. Molotov cocktails are classic. Sometimes you just can't beat the classics. Good. The CCTV cameras are back online. Every time you scan one of those junction boxes, I'll hack it and update your smart map. Take a look at your pad. Good. Now, find your way back to that shortcut you passed earlier and get your ass back to the safe house in one piece. making enough noise to raise the dead. Get out of there! So you made it back. Now, you may have noticed a box in the main room with a raven symbol on it. Time to show you how it works. You can stash your weapons, ammo and supplies in there. You can't carry everything while you're outside, but a well-stocked cache will give you options before you set off. So drop whatever you want in it. Time. There's a horde approaching. Check your radar. faces are not human. Good work, but a 
pipe you got through earlier. You'll have to finish them off. John D. But by the time he saw what was coming, Elizabeth was dead. Oh. And James I had no love for prophecies or alchemy. And he was so obsessed with black magic, he wrote a manual called Demonology and sent his witch hunters around England to hang witches and warlocks. D had to go into hiding. Bloody idiots.
thing about Buck Palace, C. It's not just a building, it's a fortress. A highly secure location. You can bet your ass they've stockpiled guns and ammo like nobody's business. Jewels aren't worth shite anymore. Bullets, that's the rare metal now. Look at these poor bastards. 
They're flocked here thinking they'd be safe, that the royals will protect them. But the establishment looks after itself, no one else. God helps those who help themselves. Never forget that.
Lovely woman, the Queen. For an ancient lizard posing as a human, anyway. But I tell you, she knows the score. It's the government didn't want anyone to know about Dee's prophecy, not her match. I hope they get her away to India or something. Their climber's better for reptiles anyway. There's your way in. Be careful. I won't have eyes on you down there. You're on your own. I'm losing you. Must be shielded. Watch your back. security monitors and speakers in the walls. I'm Peter Knight, junior doctor to the royal household. So don't worry, you're not going mad. <laughs> uh, well, um, do come and find me in the lab, won't you? I know these corridors are a labyrinth, but well, that's the point, you see, to keep intruders out. I suppose I should warn you, there are also a few infected roaming around in here. Used to be Omega Group soldiers, you see, but, well, no one infected now. Welcome. 
Do make yourself at home. But please, don't touch anything. This is all vital scientific work. I'll close the door behind you, just a precaution. Sorry, I can't greet you in person. It's safer for both of us, you understand? I'm researching a cure for this terrible infection. You see, it's slow going, as I have so few subjects to test on. Like those poor Omega Group soldiers. Not my finest hour, I fear. If you'll forgive me for a moment. I'm sure you can help me. I say, steady on, old girl. Right. Now here's how you could help. There's a book, De Remedi Secreti, by Conrad Gesner. A fascinating text, but what I'm after is Dee's own copy where he made annotations. I believe it's in the palace library, which means going upstairs, I'm afraid. Would you be so kind? The bunker elevator can take you up to the palace. I hope you don't mind the music, by the way. William Byrd, Elizabeth I's favorite composer, apparently. I find it helps me work, it's very soothing. You're doing ever so well. I do feel awful about the poor guards. Well, technically, I'm an Omega group myself. Started as an army medic, and then they posted me here. That's such a shame. Those soldiers were in the heat. So sad to see them like this.
I've just realized you probably have no idea what Omega Group is. Top secret, you see, but well, that hardly matters now. It's an elite group to protect the royal family. Look, the outbreak caught us on the hook. These poor men who used to guard the bunker. If you could say they're still guarding it. If only we paid more attention to Dr. D.
Where was I? You must forgive me. I'm a little distracted. Ah, yes, Dr. D. John D. was a scientist, alchemist, natural philosopher and all that, to Elizabeth I. Some people say he was even a spy. Imagine that. And D. wrote a warning, you see, about this outbreak. Oh, dear. Sorry, mustache. So you found Gesner's book? I do hope it wasn't too much trouble. I pass it through, would you? Ah, wait. There's something else. Um, that... The gadget of yours looks rather like something the Omega chaps used to carry. Will you step over there and scan that infected chap with it? A full scan and analyze, mind you, to isolate the infected gland. The human body really is a fascinating thing. Even after all vital signs in the subject cease, 
the body continues to fight the infection. Amazing, eh? I thought so. You'll have to put him out of his misery first. Ugh. Then take the syringe and fill it up with antibodies from the infected gland. <coughs> Perfect. Now, that syringe will synthesize a viricide, a sort of poison, quite deadly. There's enough for one injection, but you can refill it from another willing volunteer. In return, I need another favor. A second book, Studium Contagione. The study of infection by D himself. It's very rare. But I happen to know Ron Friedman has a copy in his flat on Brick Lane. Ron's one of those raven chaps, you see. Now where are you going? Are you scavenging for supplies or what? The pickings round here won't be very rich. These poor buggers have to fend for themselves. Abandoned by the government, the so-called public servants, who all hot-footed it to Westminster and the palace instead. That lot of good it did them, eh? You hear that? That's exactly why this country's gone to shite. People partying when they should have been prepping.
Honestly, I'm surprised anyone else survived. Okay, maybe not everyone knows about these prophecies, but to be so blind when Armageddon is in your face, I despair. <laughs> some way into the room. Looks like you can jump down through a hole in the ceiling. Duh. Now we're talking. Double the barrels for double the gun. Bloody hell, I've just realized where you are. 
That's Ron Friedman's place. All you'll find in there is a soft-headed imbecile who turned the ravens away from the truth. If you're going in, be careful. Ron Friedman is a lying sack of shite. Don't believe a word he says. He'll send you off on some wild goose chase. Flats on the next floor up. You have to find an air duct and crawl your way upstairs. Prepper here. Your signal's fading. I'm losing you.
This is Sondra to all surviving Ravens. Nest 6, 18, 19, 22, and 34 have been raided by vultures. Situation still evolving. Ron, come in. It's Sondra. Ron, we're pulling out in less than 12 hours. Ronald Friedman, if you're ignoring me, I swear. Answer me for God's sake, Ron! Hunting for food's a good idea, but don't come crying to me if that thing gives you indigestion, or worse. Prepper here, you read me? Looks like it's heating up in there. Find the kitchen and use the rubbish chute. It's your quickest way out. Dear John, I'll never forget everything you've given me. Our time together was the happiest.
You found the Studium Contagione? Oh, this will be invaluable. If only I had been quick enough to save them. I tried, I did. And I made progress. But what survives, well... I can't call it life. I'm almost glad my Omega Group colleagues never lived to see the day. Last letter to Francis Bacon. And a dear Francis, and so on and so forth. Yes, he mentions the Panacea Code. Now, the Ravens believe they possess this code, and they must still be in London somewhere. I don't know how, but if you can track them down and retrieve this code, it could unlock a cure. Meanwhile, I'm a soldier on. I swore an oath to my queen and my vocation to shed light upon the dark corners of ignorance. And so I must. See yourself out. There you are. What were you doing back in the palace? Look, never mind. I've had an idea. There are reports of a military camp at the palace. The guy in charge is Colonel Waverley, my old CO in Desert Storm. So tell him the prepper sent you. He'll see you right. You could do with some better weapons, and a bit of C4 wouldn't go amiss.
This is the Ravens of D calling all survivors. Evacuation will commence when the tower bells ring. I repeat, green light for Tower of London evac. Sandra bloody Kelly. Thought she was dead. But pay her no mind. The Ravens couldn't plan an orgy in a brothel. In fact, my ass, more likely they'll shoot you and rip your bob from your dead hands. Keep an eye out for the Colonel. He'll have a key card for the mobile armory. Shit. I'll tell you, the army these days is a bloody holiday camp compared to my day. You're in there now. Might as well grab some guns. Bloody shame. Waverly was one of the good ones, you know. He had my back all the way through Kuwait and beyond. An honorable man. Now grab whatever you can carry and stash it back in the safe house. Sorry for hacking your comms like this, but the Ravens of D are planning an evacuation from the Tower of London, and we need all the fighters we can get. Help us, and we'll get you out. Move! You're a sitting duck!
so you're running away with the birds. Well, let me tell you about the Ravens of D. D's prophecy is clear, but those bloody cowards want to cherry pick it. Duh. They admit D was right about the blight coming, but think he was wrong about who would survive. There is no saving the world. No evacuation, no cure, no respite. Only the prepared will survive. Isn't that what I've been teaching you? I can tell you're not listening. Fine. But if you go through with this, I won't help you. This is Sundra from the Ravens of D. It's good to see you. But you'll need to clear a path to the tower. We lost our sniper on the perimeter. Like so many of our soldiers since it began. That's a 770, that. I used to shoot naps up the arse with one of those. Time to break out from C4. Poor birds. Did you know Charles II clipped the Tower Raven's wings after the Great Plague? It's the closest he came to admitting he believes the Black Prophecy. Well, that and forming our little organization, just in case.
We lost so much knowledge when Dee's library at Mortlake was paid. We've collected what remains, but none of us had Dee's minds to make sense of it all. That's Dee's Septagram. It symbolizes the unity of the four elements with alchemy, magic, and science. Don't bother with your map. Officially, this place doesn't even exist. Just use the black light to find your way through. It will work like a black light now. Look for the signs. Nice work. They'll lead you to our bunker. 